we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun everyone, welcome or welcome back. I share simple and beautiful home decor tips to intentionally create a more peaceful home. Today I will be sharing some of my practices for creating and maintaining a peaceful home. In part one today, I will share five tips that you can put into practice today. And in part two, I will share some of my favorite decor pieces that I have used to create a peaceful home. Let's get right into these five tips for creating a peaceful home. Tip number one is to simplify the decor in your spaces. I have really been craving a home that is easier to maintain and to do that, that means things have to be simplified. And sometimes that means simply just having less things. I have been taking my time to go room by room in my home and just remove a few decor pieces just to give the spaces a more simplified look. I also took the time to remove some of the decor in our sitting room and just replace these items with more simplified decor. On the ottoman, I created just a simple little vignette on the tray using a simplified flower arrangement, some books, and this plant mister. Taking away just a few decor pieces in different areas of your home can help the space to feel less cluttered and not over decorated. Love my kitchen to feel light and airy and I was also craving a simplified look in this space so on the kitchen counter all I did was create a simple little vignette in this wood tray using a plant and these little wooden eggs one of my favorite dish towels tip number two is to reset your home each evening before bed I get it, when bedtime rolls around, you're tired and all you really wanna do is just climb into bed. And to be honest, some nights that's exactly what I do. However, I have found that most evenings when I take the time to implement this practice of resetting my home before bedtime, the next day and the next morning, I am much happier and it makes for a really peaceful morning and a productive day. Usually my evening reset includes putting away any dishes that might be in the dishwasher so that I can empty the sink and reload and have a nice clean sink for the next morning. Sometimes there are just a few toys out in my daughter's play area that she might've missed when she was cleaning up before her bedtime that I need to put away. And then I just kind of go around my kitchen and make sure the counters are nice and clean and clear. tasks can quickly feel like chores if we let them. However, I have learned that if I kind of sit back and enjoy the peace and quiet of my home and be grateful for the space that I have, it really shifts the way that I am feeling about the many tasks sometimes that have to get done around our homes. Found that this evening reset helps me to appreciate the present moment and to be able to quiet my mind and focus on the simple tasks. 
What I love most about this evening reset practice is the peaceful morning that follows the next day and waking up to a space that is ready for the day. Tip number three is to have a place for everything. Believe me, I know, easier said than done, especially if you have kids. I have struggled with this for years, but really taking the time to organize spaces in your home, even if you start with the spaces that you use the most or that are the highest traffic areas, it really helps to create a more peaceful atmosphere. In my kitchen cabinets, I use small little storage bins to organize things like my kids' cups and utensils and small plates. That way it doesn't become a big cluttered mess inside of the cabinet. In my home, I have many different simple systems in place to organize various different things around my home. A lot of things are actually behind cabinets or closed doors and also paying attention to those spaces helps to create that peaceful atmosphere as well. The small closet in this family foyer space adds a great deal of functionality to this area. There is a place for my purse, the kids' backpacks. I also house everything for our three dogs in this space. I also keep this wooden tray on the shelf in here for car keys, glasses, sunglasses, small items like that to be placed as well. Here we have a large digital calendar that is displayed on the screen. My husband is very tech savvy, so this is something that he has created. We can see easily everything that everyone has going on. If you are not so tech savvy like me, uh, using a calendar that is like a whiteboard that you can wipe off might be a really great option for you. Tip number four is to embrace blank space in your home. Blank spaces allow for your home to breathe and not feel over decorated. I actually talked a little bit about embracing blank space in your home in my recent guest room makeover. I actually left quite a bit of blank space in this room and the feeling that I get when I walk into that room is just lovely. This tip can also be applied to the different vessels that you might have in all of the different areas of your home, leaving pitchers, bowls, vases, baskets empty can be just as beautiful as putting something in them. Tip number five is to weave in sentimental items that tell a story. Up in our bedroom, I have a few of my grandmother's birds on display. However, I don't have a huge collection of them up in the bedroom. They're just kind of sprinkled in in a couple of different places. That way you don't give the space a feeling of clutter. Gallery walls are an amazing option to share your family's stories and memories. This particular gallery wall showcases a trip that we took to Hawaii. There is also a larger gallery wall on the wall in between our kitchen and living room area. Now this large gallery wall is one that showcases many different family photos over many different years. There is also another smaller gallery wall that is up in our bedroom that showcases our girls and when my husband and I were married. What I love about gallery walls is that you can easily change out the photos as your family grows. If gallery walls maybe aren't your thing, photo books are another really great option to display memories and to tell your family's story. What I love about photo books is that they are great conversation pieces. You can keep them out on your coffee table and they allow you to share many different photos without taking up too much space in your home. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you enjoyed these five tips for creating and maintaining a more peaceful home. If you enjoy this kind of content, a really wonderful way to show your support is to give this video a like and to hit that subscribe button. I am looking forward to sharing my essential home decor pieces to create a more peaceful home in part two of this video series next week. I will see y'all soon.